So once again, His Majesty Udenehu, can you tell me something about your future plans or what you would like to get major funds of Denmark, maybe to invest some money into the Aquamu society? What can we do and what are your plans or visions for the future? Thank you very much, and then Carl. Um, you see, we have a lot of plants on our table, let me say, in our outfit. And um, some of the most important things that we need here, you see, every economy, if it's going to boom, need a very good infrastructure. Ghana, things are very, very poor. Yeah, in terms of, let me say, one of the challenges that we are facing now here today is our telecommunication, our networking. You know, when you want to email somebody or you want to be on the net with somebody, the network is always poor over here. If I'm not thinking, we talked about this thing some time ago. If we can have an infrastructure based that have a very good digital network that can help our economy boom. That would be very, very nice. Uh, why am I saying this? You see, the government of Ghana is looking at Aquamu State because of the scenery, the nature of our state, the mountains, the rivers, and all that. And we having the largest man-made lake here, the dam, which has the electro hydro, hydro electric dam here too, that is serving the whole country. So it's like Aquamu State has become a powerhouse of the powerhouse of, of Ghana. And you see, one of my visions that I have for Aquamu is we have history. We have lost we have we have lost a lot of our territorial lands to a lot of people. But all we have left is our history. You can never write the history of Ghana, the history of the colonial time, without mentioning Akwamu. Akwamu played a prominent role. All the colonies that came to uh, the Gold Coast to deal in trade, be it slave trade, be it arms, be it liquor, be it whatever, dealt with Akwamu's. So we have history. And these are some of the things I, as the king of Akwemu, want to build a very formidable history for people to come from international diaspora to come and witness our history. As you know, we have the keys to the Crystal Moor Castle, the original keys, we have it here. We have the sword given to us by King Frederick here during the war of Akatamans War over 18 something they are all here you know we have a lot of artifacts some of the things dated far back 1505 they are all here so my idea is to build a historic village that can display some of all, some of these things you know, i want to build something like a theme park a theme park that have all these histories there that people can come there and learn history and study history and learn about Akwamu's and once you talk about history you definitely learn about the days then you definitely learn about the Dutch you definitely learn about the Norwegians because we dealt with them in our trade and we have some of the things that can showcase that we dealt with them here and I think this thing is money but they are all sitting down there not preserved well and it's a problem so I'm throwing a challenge to people, everybody, businessmen, government agencies, whatever, funds we can get to start this historical thing. It is in the form of a museum, but in a different way. In a different way. That people can come and spend a whole day like a theme park. But in a theme park, then you are learning history. So it is one of the things I am asking for. It is something 
That's a big project that uh, I want to undertake. So if there are investors out there who want to help, they are ready. It's good. And I'm also ready. Mm. Let us rule. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I add one more question? Yeah. Um, we have a saying that uh, the youth is the future of the nation. Yes. So if you should talk about the educational part of APAMU, how are your visions of uh, the schools of APAMU and the education of the youth? You know, oh. um, 